Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Sean video today. They gotta go out to see if things came out today, see if things are on sale. Today though, new release-wise, some of the big things that are coming out. The one thing offhand that I know that I know offhand is um the film Uncharted. Uh, that one comes out today, and I believe I saw that there was like an exclusive uh, Best Buy steelbook for that one. I'm pretty sure I saw something for that. Unless I, I saw the to something totally wrong, but I think I saw for that. There might have been another exclusive as well for that. Also, though, I'm pretty sure I saw, like, um, I think the movie The Cursed is coming out today as well, as well as uh, Cursed, the movie, you know, Wes Craven directed from uh, Scream Factory. And that one might be in um, uh, Best Buy. I'm not sure, though. Also, though, at the end of this video, is going to be a whole bunch of, there's tons of brand new uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews, some things I received, review, and talk about for you guys over the past, like, two weeks or so. I didn't review anything last week because I just got back from the film shoot, so I didn't get to um, watch anything. So I have a whole bunch of reviews at the end of this video as well. Uh, but anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today into target we go and i also want to let you guys know some really exciting news the film which i directed uh, amityville karen which stars lauren francesca and james zavall and mike ferguson uh that movie is now up for uh, pre-order now there was the limited edition blu-ray but now the wide release dvd is available and i'll have a link for it for the mvd's uh, website where you guys can order it from but soon it's going to be up on amazon and all those other places online as well but I cannot wait for you guys to see this movie. I am so excited for you guys to see it when it releases, but so excited that it now has a release date of September. I think it's the 13th, either the 13th or 16th. I'm like blanking on the exact date, but I know it's September, I think believe 13th, but like I said, I'm gonna have a link below where you guys can order a copy of it now if you want to pre-order it ahead of time, but it's gonna, gonna be on Amazon and all those other places as well very soon. But thanks again, guys, for all the support on the films and everything, but this is one I cannot wait for you guys to see. So we'll take a look here in the front. And I'm not seeing anything new from this week. I see stuff from last week. Like, I, I don't know if this was last Tuesday or the week before, but Turning Red, I know that was one of the recent ones. And then Moonfall was recent. I don't think I showed this last time because I don't think this was out on the shelf. Uh, I don't think they had put it out or something like that. But this was the Turning Red exclusive one that has, like, original, like, decals in it in there. So that's kind of cool. It's got, like, stickers. I've never seen them have one that included stickers and stuff with it like that. Normally, it's, like, art cards and things like that. But let's see anything else different down here. Doesn't look like anything different here as far as I can tell. And on the side here, it's pretty much been, like, the Harry Potter for a long time over here. And then they kind of randomly changed out a couple other things. Let's see anything else randomly different here. No, nothing really different here as far as I can tell. we we'll check over in the actual section though and see uh, if they changed out to the, you know, the new releases for this week or not. Because they haven't lately, so we'll see though, fingers crossed. Yeah, but just like that, I'm leaving. There was nothing changed out whatsoever in there at all. It was all totally empty and I didn't see like in the spots or anything, anything, um, you know, for the new releases for this week. Because like I was saying, there's not a ton of things today, but I know there was, um, you know, the one thing that I mentioned. I'm, I'm blanking on it right now, but the one, uh, there was the one thing, that, like I said, that I mentioned that was coming out today, but we're going to go to the Walmart here and fingers crossed, hopefully they have some of this stuff out, but I'm still going to go to the other one as well, though. We shall see them. Into Walmart we go. So we're gonna head back and see if there's anything new put out. And the one thing that was out today was Uncharted. That was the one I like totally blanked on. I wasn't noticing some of these ones. I don't remember seeing like some of these like Don Knotts, like five movie collection here. I don't know if they're like, maybe they're just different slip covers on these, but I don't feel like I remember seeing uh, these ones in the past. There's like Ma Pa and the Ketter, Doris Day, uh, Vertigo, oh, the, oh, James Stewart collection, Psycho, Little Shop of Horrors, Westworld. I definitely don't remember the Westworld or Little of horrors ones there's a yeah this deliverance one down here that's a pretty cool slip cover on that outsiders down there the jerk so yeah i definitely do not remember uh those ones let's see over here though um so i do see uncharted so they have the uncharted the um the 4k one for 29.99 and they have like ones that has like in, uh, walmart exclusive trading cards in this one so they do have an exclusive uh, you know, for this one uh, here. And then the standard uh, Blu-ray is $22.99, $17.96 for the DVD. And they have Dog. That was one of the other ones that came out today. I don't see that put out there, though. Let's see. Um, Spider-Man, that was from the last couple weeks. Let's check over here on the side. This was all kind of like random stuff last time around. Like, a lot of, like, collections and stuff like that. Let's check 
over here as well. Like I see like the outfit that was last week. I think, oh yeah, this one came out today, Clean. This one was really good with Adrian Brody. I would definitely recommend you guys check this one out. He actually did the music for it as well. This was really, really good. The one kid in here was from the movie White Boy Rick, but I really like this one. This was definitely uh, really worth checking out. This one here is interesting. This Land Shark one here, Land Shark. You thought it was safe on land. This is one today. This is kind of interesting. Like a giant killer shark kind of one here for $9.96 uh, for that one. Let's see if there's anything else randomly over here. Like I see like Dinosaur World. I think that was last Tuesday. Jurassic Island, I believe, was a week or two back. Um, Bleed for me, that was a week or two ago. Um, everything else over here, though, I don't see anything else new mixed in up here. Oh, there's one up here that's new. This one called Devil's Tale. I believe that one is new. And then this uh, Lincoln one, I think might have been last Tuesday. And sorry, like the TVs over here are like blasting so loud. I did see one other thing over here, Lockdown here. Um, this was one of the other ones that released today. And then I also noticed in the front, they actually had the one thing I was interested in. Um, I was surprised that they have this one here. Uh, this one called The Curse. They have the DVD for $12.96 and the Blu-ray for $14.96. This one looked kind of interesting. Um, I might pick this one up. Like I saw some interesting reviews for this one and everything too for it. So I probably will get this one for $14.96. But yeah, like I said, I'm glad they have uh, this one here. I totally missed over that. But other than that, though, I don't see anything else, like I said, differently here, different here as far as I can tell. Like these ones I saw like the past couple weeks, these ones that have the new kind of like um, postcard kind of covers to them, like old school kind of postcard kind of covers for these ones. But then other than that, though, I, I saw some more TV season sets over here. But I think I've shown these ones before, like the Kung Fu one. The main new ones, like I was mentioning, were you know, all of these ones here with these different kind of slip covers on them. And then I showed, I believe last Tuesday, I showed all of these ones that had like, these are like, most of these ones were released before. And they now they're just like putting this cover on them, but they were like on the steel books for a lot of these ones I remember, or, and some of the um, 4K slip covers. Yeah, but in there though, like I was saying, I got that one, uh, The Curse. And like I said, I had read some decent things about this one. So definitely was looking forward to, um, you know, checking this one out. And was definitely surprised that they, they had the Blu-ray of this one though. Because usually like a lot of times with horror ones, they usually end up ha only having like so often. Uh, it's, if it's not like a super, super well-known movie, they end up only having the DVD of it. So I was there, like definitely surprised they had the Blu-ray, you know, as well for this one. But now going to head to the other Walmart just to see anything else different uh, that came out today because there was definitely some uh, one or two other things that I know was coming out today that I didn't see in there. So fingers crossed, hopefully we'll see some of that in the other location. Into the second Walmart we go. And taking a look here though, they have the um, Uncharted as well. So this is the, the non-Walmart exclusive one. So yeah, so it has the, if you're looking for the Walmart one, just make sure it has that little sticker there uh, for that one. And it looks like I think it's like a few dollars more. So it's $29.96 for the Walmart one. I think that the standard one is $27.96. And then $22.96 for the Blu-ray, $17.96 for the DVD. And this location has Dog uh, as well, you know, the new Channing Tatum film uh, that released today. And that's $22.99 for the Blu-ray and then $17.96 for the, um, the DVD. And then they have Cursed here as well. Uh, Blacklight, I can't remember if Blacklight was last Tuesday or this Tuesday. I think it was last Tuesday that that one had come out because I showed the unboxing for that one. But nothing new here. This is all kind of the random mixture movies here. Let's see. Over here, too. I didn't see anything else new in this spot. And then over here, I saw a couple other things. Like um, this was like, I think this was like two or three weeks back. This one, Dead Till Midnight. This one looks kind of interesting. It's like sort of like an anthology kind of horror one from what I can tell. And I know it has like Bill Mosley and stuff in it. This is Dinosaur World. I showed this in, I think I showed this last Tuesday that came out. Let's see if any of the other ones that were from today. Yeah, this was the other one today. This one, um, The Devil's Tale, which looks kind of interesting. I think this is another one that's in an anthology because it has like a ton of different directors on the back. So I think it would have to be some sort of an anthology, I'm thinking. I don't know, though. But that one's $9.96 for that one. And this is the other one I was mentioning, uh, Lockdown. And I'll be talking about this at the end of this video as well. And this one, had, like I said, had Bai Lang in the movie. And I just worked with her on my movie, uh, Mistletoe Massacre. I can't wait for you guys to see that. She has, like, a really, really fun part in um, the movie. But we oh, had always wanted to work with her. So we're so glad to finally get to work with her. Um, they have Abraham Lincoln. Uh, that was the other one I mentioned. There's, like, a Barbie thing that came out today, Barbie. Big City Dreams, uh, Supergirl, I think that was a while back. 
Um, this was a couple weeks back. Uh, I don't see anything else new here mixed in as far as I can tell. Everything else seems to be like from the past couple of weeks. Let me see if there's anything else randomly mixed over here. But no, as far as I can tell, that seems to be all the main, uh, you know, different things today. Into Best Buy we go. So we're going to head back and see and see if they have any of the exclusives as well. Because like I was saying, I know that, that I saw something about it on for an Uncharted uh, Steelbook here. Let's see. I don't see anything here uh, on this side. Let's check over here. You always have to check over here too. So every so often I see they put some of the newer things here and sometimes I miss looking over them. I, I don't see a steelbook for this one. So maybe I am, I imagined that there was one. I feel like I saw some kind of a picture about a steelbook for it though. Uh, they have dog here. That This is the one uh, that came out today as well. The um, 4K editions of Jurassic Park. Wasn't there another? Uh, there's another steelbook. There's a steelbook that came out today. Um, I think, I don't know if they're going to have it, I think it was Friday the 13th, part three, I think I saw it, either that was to this week or next Friday. I don't know for sure, though, um, but I know that was one of the other ones. I mean, I don't see it here, though, anywhere. I'm going to check better, though, because it could be like, I think it was like $15 or $14.99 I saw on, online for it. But like I said, these ones came out today, and, I, and these ones were already on 4K, but now they're uh, available separately for these ones. And I know that there's gonna, probably once the newest one comes out, they're going to probably re-release them again in another collection. But other than the, um, Jurassic, the, the standalone ones, I'm trying to see if there's anything else mixed in here. Like I said, I'm trying to make sure, too, I don't miss this, um, you know, Steelbook today, too, in case they did have it. Because like I said, I, I think it was today, the part, Friday the 13th Part 3 Steelbook. But maybe that was um, next Tuesday, though. I'm, I'm not 100% certain, though, but I definitely don't see it here. That's one of those things, though, that probably would sell kind of quick or they would only have a few of them. I don't think it was exclusive, though, to uh, the store, uh, to Best Buy, though. Let's see. I don't see it up here. I see one of the heavy metal uh, steelbooks still. That was like a couple weeks back. But let's see. Um, no, I don't see it here. Check down here. Sometimes, though, it would be... Um, kind of randomly on this side too. They do have uh, the cursed. It's uh, $13.99 here. I don't know. Is that? I think I paid the same price at Walmart, but it might have been. My, I think it was the exact same price though. I don't know though unless I pay like a dollar more or not. I don't know. Let's see though. Anything else mixed in here? Uh, I know there was a couple other four, uh, 4Ks coming out from Sh uh, Shout Factory I saw were releasing soon. I don't think they were this week though, but I saw there was a handful of ones like um, the Fun House and a couple other ones. Let's see. Anything over here? No, I definitely do not see the Friday the 13th one though. So like I said, I don't know if it was this week or not, but if you guys saw it in any of your stores, uh, let me know though. And I noticed back here, they kind of have like a random area now. Oh, this is, I've never actually seen this in any stores. The, um, I actually don't think I bought this. I don't, I don't believe I did. The Views and Butthead Do America. I have to check to make sure I didn't like review this and forget it, but I feel like I didn't actually buy this. I have to check again though, but I don't think I did. But like I was saying, this, it's kind of random section over here. I thought it was all kind of 4K, but it's now called Movie Best Sellers. So they kind of changed this now. So it's like some random things like, mixed in here too that i was noticing um like they have like some of the ultramans down here but like there was some like a couple other random things mixed in that i don't remember seeing like the adams family collection and then there were some of these movie collections here like these were out of print for a while i guess this is the re-release of them like they had like this collection here um with resurrection stuff i know that th this was out of print but i don't remember seeing all of these ones so they definitely added a couple random newer things kind of mixed in here to this best sellers uh area yeah, so I ended up getting the um, the Use and Butthead Do America uh, Blu-ray in there. Like I said, I don't know how. I, I, I guess I didn't end up buying it. I, like, forgot to pick it up because it came out, like, maybe, like, two months back or something like that. But it's the first time I actually remember seeing it in stores. I remember someone had mentioned to me that they were seeing it in Best Buys, but at least now I finally got it. This is one of those things, too, like, I don't know how I didn't, like, just pre-ordered ahead of time and stuff because like I remember like seeing this movie in theaters and like I remember too like being so depressed as a kid when because when I, I kind of knew when this movie was done that was like going to be the end of years and but and of course they brought it back I think in like 2010 or a, something like that for like one season and they're going to bring it back again on Paramount Plus which is like the only reason why I would ever get that is just to see that when they bring out the show back in a couple months so 
definitely am interested in seeing that. But let me know that, guys, in the comments below, though, you know, what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. If you guys ended up picking up anything new today, let me know, too, anything new that you guys have seen at the theme, in the movies or anything that you guys have watched on streaming or any TV shows, something like that as well. Also, be sure to check out the link, too, where you guys can go to pre-order the uh, official, you know, um, wide release DVD for Amity Karen, the film which I directed. So I cannot, like I said, I cannot wait for you guys to see these movies that I've made, especially Karen. Like, that's one I had such a great time doing and it's got, like, if you guys know like the early stuff I did like Don and Murph and everything, it's kind of got that vibe and everything more so than other ones. It just has that kind of feel and like I kind of did everything on that one. I filmed it and I, you know, shot the, held the camera on that one and everything. So it has that kind of vibe to it and everything. So I can't wait for you all to see that. But anyway though guys, now stay tuned for the brand new DVD Blu-ray and 4 Okay, reviews. And the first one I got here is from Shout Factory Scream Factory line. This is one that I actually saw in theaters when this one first came out. And I always liked this movie. This is one of those movies, too. I remember, like, there's a lot of talk about this when this first came out. Like, the movie ended up getting, like, reshot. And it had, like, a whole lot of stuff. Like, certain characters ended up being written out of the movie because they couldn't come back for the reshoots. There's a whole lot of stuff, like, throughout the years that have come out against this movie. But it's a film here called Cursed, which is a werewolf movie. Like I said, this stars uh, Christina Ricci. Uh, you know, uh, Wes Craven directed the movie. Kevin Williams you know who was the writer of Scream uh, you know he was the writer on this one and I like I said I always thought this one was an okay movie not perfect or anything like that but I remember seeing it in theaters and like I, I when I saw it I was like I didn't because I, I remember this at the time there's a lot of like negativity about the movie like oh it's not great and stuff and this is one of those other movies when I really kind of discovered that I kind of like a lot of movies that are a lot of people movies that people don't like I end up kind of liking and this is one of those ones I remember really liking uh, even though it's not perfect but it has on here though uh, two different versions Versions. It has the theatrical version as well as the unrated version, which is like the unrated one is not the director's cut because the director's cut they never really like. Like I said, they had to reshoot a lot of this movie, but it's like kind of like the 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 closest version you're ever really going to get to more of the uncensored version, uh, you know, of the film. Because I think it was originally made too to be like an R-rated movie. Then they ended up having to do all the changes, and then they like, like I said, they re. Like originally though, there were certain characters that aren't even in this movie anymore because they had to reshoot a lot of stuff, and then certain people couldn't come back. So I don't know if that footage will ever be seen. Like some of that stuff that was like sort of filmed that they might not even have. Permission to use anymore but this one has on here though like i said the 4k scan for the original camera negative on here has behind the things the making of cursed uh creature uh creator uh cre creature editing 101 becoming a werewolf feature right on here on the unrated cut of the film it has the uh 4k scan for the original camera negative on here has a commentary track on here uh you know with makeup artists on here uh, on this one but like i said really fun movie if you guys have never seen this one i definitely would recommend you guys check this one out i'll show you guys though a look inside as well it's a two disc uh set here like i said that has the theatrical as well as the unrated version uh the next ones here these ones are all from our uh, arrow video and this is a movie i love this movie i've watched this movie throughout the years so many different times i i don't know what it is about this movie it's probably like one of my most watched movies, uh, and, and and some of my most watched movies are actually Bruce Willis movies. This one, uh, The Fifth Element, like this, like I said, certain ones I just really love to watch, and I love these type of movies. And this one here is Twelve Monkeys, and this is the 4K Ultra HD edition. I believe there was also a Steelbook, from what I can remember, of the 4K as well. I can't remember if it was. I think it was a 4K of the of the um, Steelbook. It might have been a standard one though. I can't remember for sure though. But I know there was a Steelbook of this one. But if you guys have never seen this movie, it's a futuristic movie. Uh, it takes place in two, two, it was in 2035, and basically though, Bruce Willis's character is like from the future, and he goes like has to go back in time to figure out when this virus came, and that's basically what it is: is him trying to get to the bottom of this twelve monkeys virus and t sort of stopping it from happening. But it kind of gets all messed up. He ends up in the mental hospital and then things kind of get all screwed up but it's a great like probably one of my favorite science fiction movies it has on here the brand new 4K restoration on here. It has a um, commentary track on here with the director as well as the producer on here. A feature length documentary on on the film. A theatrical trailer as well on this one. But like I said, if you guys have never seen this movie, definitely a must watch. The other one here uh, from Arrow Video is one here called uh, Girls Night Out. I remember this one back in the day. And I think it was like, um, it might have been on like, you know, USA Up All Night or uh, 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 Monster Vision, you know, Joe Bob Briggs. One of those type of things because I really remember well this one, you know, back in the day, seeing this on something like that. Uh, but like I said, this one here is called Girls Night Out. And this one has the cool, like, retro slipcover where it has, like, a real 80s style look on the back. They've done a couple ones that are like that. And then here's a look, though, inside. And this one has on here a brand new 2K restoration on here from the original 35mm vault elements on this one. Has a brand new commentary track on here with film 
um, critic and horror author uh, Justin Kurzweil, as well as uh, our uh, historian um, and author Amanda Reese. It has Staying Alive, a brand new video interview on here with uh, actrix, uh, act, uh, actress uh, Jane Montgomery. It has a brand new video interview on here with Laura Summer on here. Uh, interview on here with Lois Roberts. Uh, interview on here with Paul Christie. So lots of different interviews on here. Archival video interview on here. Uh, theatrical trailers on here uh, as well. And I'll show you guys a little look inside here uh, as well at, for this one here. So here's a look though inside. It has a booklet about the film. This was, this was the cover that I always remember. I think it came out like with this cover. I think it was like... Um, Sh Shriek films or one of those ones released it years and years ago. I remember like the original DVD. Uh, the next one here, this is a 4K edition as well of the film here, Wild Things. And I think there was like a sequel too. One of the like th when they were doing like those direct to video sequels, I think I remember there being a, like a Wild Things 2. I never watched that one, uh, but I always remember really liking Wild Things. The first one, you know, the original one that was from 1998, and it had and it's like that real like night like late 90s ones. When you think of like late 90s movies, this is one of those ones that I always think of, but it has on here though um the brand new 4k restoration on here for the both for both the theatrical version as well as the unrated version of the film but keep in mind though it only includes the 4k uh you know version of the film it does not include the blu-ray so like just keep that in mind though if you guys do not have a 4k player don't get this particular edition uh you know of the film because uh, that's been like the the new norm like i've been noticing is a lot of movies now the, the 4k one only includes the 4k not the blu-ray and it seems like even like paramount and a lot of the studios are starting to do that little by little but it has on here though like i said the theatrical version as well as the unrated version of the film it has on here though commentary track on here with the director on here it has an exclusive video interview on here with the director a brand new interview on here with um denise richards on here making of documentary on here it has some outtakes on here it also has a double-sided uh fold-out poster on here as well let me show you guys the poster for this one here as well it has the does it have the original yeah, yeah the original poster this is the one I always remember, the original poster for the film, and then the brand new uh, commissioned artwork for the film here uh, as well. But really cool release here for the film. Like I said, Arrowville's been putting out so many cool things lately, and this, and I don't, I think this one, I can't remember if it actually had a Blu-ray before, I think it did. It definitely never had 4K though. So it's really cool, like I said, that there's been so many different things hitting 4K lately and everything. The other one here uh, is from uh, Arrow Video as well, and this is one I want to let you guys know that was available and this is called um one armed boxer and this one has on here a brand new two credit restoration for the original uh elements on here it has on here the um uh you know the uh, mandarin version as well as the english dub version on here a career retrospective interview on here uh let's see some more uh interviews theatrical trailers on here let's see I'll show you guys a look inside here uh, as well, there's a booklet in here with some stuff about the production, uh, stills, that kind of stuff, you know, as well. Uh, and then the other one here was one I was interested in watching, too, mainly, too, because I just uh, ended up working with her on the new film that I co-directed with Lauren Francesca, The Mistletoe Massacre. This one is from Lionsgate called Lockdown. This one has Michael Perry and Bay Bai Lang, like who I, like I said, who I just finished, uh, you know, uh, working with on Mr. Tomasco. And I cannot wait for you guys to see, uh, the stuff that we did in the movie. Some really, really fun stuff in the film. Uh, her character is so fun in, in the movie. Like I said, it's, I, I don't want to ruin anything, but it's great. I can't wait for you guys to see it. Uh, but this is basically though about, and I, I like this one. The one guy who played like the bad guy in this, like the shaved headed guy, he's been in a couple other things. And he's always really cool, um, like playing like like great bad guys. Like he was like the scene stealer of this movie, the bad guy in this. And basically, though, uh, they were like in this prison and ended up breaking out and kind of holding the whole prison like hostage. And it's basically like, you know, they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do. And like the, the bad guys are trying to get, you know can, kind of get out of the prison and stuff like that. So that's basically what it is. Is the whole big thing about like the uh, cops are trying to get into the prison, trying to figure out what they're gonna do. Why these guys are trying to like hold the place hostage, trying to you know get away and that kind of stuff. But a fun kind of like prison kind of heist uh, film here. Uh, the other one here, this is from Lionsgate as well. Uh, and that has a lot of stuff to show this week. Because like I said, I didn't get to show anything last week. This is from Lionsgate as well. This one is called Exorcism of God. And this is basically, though, about this priest who kind of like... um 
he ended up was doing like an exorcism and he wasn't really like prepared to do it and he like, kind of shouldn't have been doing it and he ended up like it, it worked out but then he ended up getting himself possessed himself and then like after that happened things were kind of weird and like the demon kind of thing was sort of like laying kind of dormant inside of this guy instead of the priest for years and now something has happened and he's kind of come back and he has to kind of go back to do the exorcisms again but now like the the you know the demon that was like kind of inside of him kind of dormant is now kind of coming back when he goes to do these exorcisms and stuff like that so it's kind of like it's a really interesting kind of different take on these possession type films this one has on here deleted scenes as well as some featurettes on the film as well uh, the next one here this is from a uh, sony and this is i never really played the game so i wasn't really that sure too much about like what the game was about or anything like that but this is um this has the 4k the blu-ray and the digital copy of the film uh, uncharted like i said this is based on the video game series it's like i don't know anything about the series I, I don't know how many of them that there were or anything like that that was like one of those series i did not know too much about but basically though this was about you know um tom holland's character who's like brother was like something had happened to his brother and he went kind of like on this mission and had gone missing and like tom holland's character kind of goes and kind of is like steals things and kind of has like these schemes of making money and kind of like just sort of these weird things that he's doing and he ends up getting linked up with mark Wahlberg's character and mark Wahlberg's character kind of like wants to work with him to go on this mission to try and find this treasure stuff that he's trying to find but but he also thinks that like he knows where um, tom holland's brother is so he kind of thinks that if he goes to find this treasure with him then he can find where his brother is so it kind of becomes this whole like mission kind of like adventure kind of film sort of i guess you could kind of say like an indiana jones kind of vibe a little bit when like the the you know the mission kind of stuff like that it kind of has that sort of feel kind of feel to it and everything but this one has on here though uh deleted scenes and deleted extended scenes on here some featurettes on here a commentary track on here with the director as well on this one and the next one I got here is from Paramount. This is one I did not know much about at all. Um, this is a movie which stars Mark Wahlberg called Infinite. And this is an interesting movie. It's basically, though, about, like, um, people having, like, can kind of, like, remember their past lives. And they're kind of, like, using their past lives, like, their knowledge, you know, from past lives and, like, things that they learned and everything. So it's not, like, just kind of remembering past lives. It's, like, remembering things that you did, certain things that you learned, certain, like, languages and certain abilities and stuff like that. And stuff, too, that, like, have been totally forgotten about. But you kind of have this ability to still remember these things and Mark Wahlberg's character is one of these rare people that has this ability and basically though you know he's starting to come to discover these certain things but then there's other people that are trying to use these people that have these abilities for their gain and like kind of coming after them and stuff like that it's a really interesting different take on these kind of movies like I said I, ha I can't say I've seen a movie where it was like this type of a vibe maybe Cloud Atlas sort of had that vibe a little bit like with past lives uh, this one has on here though feature wise they call them infinite feature it has anatomy of a scene of uh, the police station and forest featurettes on this one here as well the other one here it's from paramount that i want to let you guys know is available and this is available for the first time on 4k and this is the 35th anniversary of beverly hills cop 2 and this is the 4k ultra hd edition here of the film i believe now like the only one that needs to come to 4k is the third film because i'm pretty sure other than that though i think they've all come out which is very cool and i think that there was also a steelbook i think for one of, I, I don't know if it was for this, I don't think there was for a steelbook for the second movie, but I believe there might have been a 4K steelbook for the first movie. Uh, the other one here, this is one I talked about a little bit about um, on Tuesday. I did an unboxing for this one, but this is the new Liam Neeson movie, Blacklight, and I showed like an unboxing for this one, but I thought this was a fun movie. It's basically though about kind of his character is getting ready to, to retire and kind of at that point, and he kind of gets brought back into this case, and it's kind of about him trying to like, because he kind of realizes that there might be something going on where he you know where he's working and, and kind of like there's kind of like a cover-up sort of thing and it's one of those type of things where he kind of discovers that like people that he thinks are kind of on his side and everything that he's been working for might not really be that good so it kind of becomes this whole thing where he's sort of you know getting ready to retire but at the same time has to figure out what he's going to do and what he's going to do about what's going on and in in where he works and everything it's a very interesting movie uh this one has on here though uh black light behind the scenes and shooting black light uh featurettes on this one the other one here is from um uh universal as well and this is one called crino which stars peter dinklage and Haley bennett and this is um 
it's basically, though, one of those kind of, like, love triangle kind of movies, and it's, like, Peter Dinklage's character likes Haley Bennett, but then, like, uh, you know, he, it's kind of like, he, he doesn't, he's kind of afraid of telling her, and doesn't feel like he's worthy enough to be with her, and then, like, she kind of likes, um, uh, Kevin Harrison's character, and that's kind of like this thing, basically, like, he wants to help him, uh, and basically by, like, telling him his words to try and get with her. And it's kind of like, basically, he's, like, you know, being the voice for him. It's kind of, it's an interesting kind of thing. So using his words to help those two, two, two get together. It's an interesting movie. I think this is a story this has done in the past as well. But this one has on here, though, uh, The Making of Crino, a featurette on this one here. Uh, the next one here, this one is from uh, Warner Brothers. They sent our free copy. This one, let you, guys know this, they'll let you guys know this one is available. This is a movie which stars Channon Tatum called Dog. And this is basically, though, about um, Channon Tatum's character... And his one friend who was, you know, he was in the army with had passed away. And it's basically, though, about him trying to get his dog to his th his friend's funeral. And it becomes this whole big thing because the dog is kind of difficult to deal with. And it becomes one of those kind of like road trip kind of movies with all sorts of problems. And, you know, I always like these kind of dog movies where it's like, I, you know, as a kid, I used to love ones like Bingo and, you know, Homeward Bound and all those type of ones. So anything kind of like dog related, I always like that kind of stuff. And this is basically, like I said, just like one of those sort of feel-good movies about him kind of like you know connecting with his friend again in a way with his friend's dog and kind of this journey and everything it's like i said it's a really you know feel-good well-made film here like i said this one here is called dog the other one here to let you guys know that was available this is from um warner brothers as well and they sent our free copy this one to let you guys know that this one is available and this is the dk uh, dc showcase animated shorts constantine the house of mystery and i believe that there was um Another one of these in the past that I that they had that I remember talking about, but this also has three more DC uh, uh, sh showcase animated shorts on this one here as well. But this was I know this was like a TV series. I think it was on like the CW, I believe. Uh, but this one has on here uh, three more DC uh, animated shorts. So it has Kamado, The Last Boy on Earth, The Losers, and Blue Beetle. But it also has the DC uh, showcase one story at a time on this one here as well. The next one here, this is from uh, RLJ Entertainment. This is also from IFC uh, Films. And this was actually, I like this movie a lot. Adrian Brody uh, stars in this movie. He also did the music in the film. And I loved his music in this. Like, I, 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 I don't, I, I looked up the, you know, for him doing music in movies. And he, I think he did things in like two films in the past. And hopefully he continues on doing music because it kind of has like a vibe of like drive, that kind of cool synth kind of music. Very cool music. But this is a movie that he was, um, you know, produced produced and stars in, and like I said, did the music in, uh, called Clean, and this is one I give a top recommendation to, I really like this one, like, you know, there's a lot of stuff lately I've been looking at, I'm just, like, not really caring about, I'm like, I can't really get into it, you know, I, like, honestly, I just don't care, <laughs> you know what I mean, with a lot of these movies lately, uh, this movie, though, I like this, this is, like, one that really was interesting to me, and it's basically, though, kind of like, um, uh, his character is a garbage man, and, like, he, you, you see flashbacks to him in the past, when, like, something had happened with his daughter, and you can kind of tell that he had something happen with like this, you know, um, he had like, um, this wrench that he had that was bloody. And you know that like basically some, some violent stuff had happened with him in the past. And basically though, it's kind of like, um, uh, nearby though, he's noticing that there's some crime stuff going on. There's like a fish place nearby. And the one kid just got out of prison and his like father is very controlling and giving him all these like orders and stuff like that. And basically Adrian Brody's character is kind of realizing and like watching what's going on across the street. And something ends up getting, he gets like somehow linked up with this because of the one girl that he's friends with. And it just becomes this whole big thing. And basically his, violent side from the past kind of comes back and it's, this movie kind of has like this a sort of like a john wick sort of kind of vibe to it i like i said i really liked it the one uh the girl who plays his daughter in here was from um mary's got talent i remember she was on there singing so it's kind of funny to see her in there uh the other one here is from um rlj entertainment as well and this is also a shutter original this is one i was really interested in watching because i really like this series of films this is vhs 94 and this is you know basically the the series is all done kind of like to seem like it's the original series was like they had vhs tapes people kind of had found them and were watching them and everything and this is kind of the same but this one was all done like these were tapes that were from like 1994 and they were they like kind of aged them up much more um 
the best segment though was the one underground like in like the in the basically in the underground like sort of subway kind of terminal kind of not, not really subway but like the tunnels and stuff like that underground with these weird kind of creatures and stuff like that the that the one thing though when it comes to like all of these um anthology movies is i always feel like some segments are better than others this one though i felt like probably it was about half and half but the one underground though i would say is probably the best one uh but they did definitely did a really good job though making this seem very authentic like and seem very like 90s and like kind of like found footage and everything but this has on here a bunch of different features it has behind the scenes of vhs 94 has the comic-con panel on here uh it also has deleted and extended scenes on here behind the scenes images on here uh you know as well on this one the next one here is from rlj entertainment as well and this is one i will let you guys know that was available and this is also a show that airs on amc plus this is uh, called kin and like i said just want to let you guys know that this one was available and this is basically though kind of about this like uh, you know set in Dublin and it's basically about this family business and, and basically like kind of one of those things where things start to all go wrong at the same time and basically like um they're having like all these kind of infighting kind of things within the family and it's dealing with sort of with all sorts of drugs and all these type of things. It's hard to explain. I, I just started watching it though, but it's like, like I said, one of those very like family drama things where like the whole family, like I said, is all having all these kind of problems with each other and that type of stuff here. And like I said, this one here is called Ken and this is the complete, um, you know, first season here of the show. Uh, the next one here is another one that I will let you guys know that was available. And this is from Warner Brothers as well. And they sent our free copy. This one, the late guys know that this one is available. And this is uh, Succession, Succession, the complete uh, third season here on DVD. And I think there might be a Blu-ray as well for this. I'm not 100% sure. But this one has on here uh, a succession controlling the narrative. Uh, breakdown of two episodes on here. Who said it? Uh, with Sarah Snook and Alan Ruck on here. As well as the family food chain a featurette on this one. The other one here is from... Um, you know, um, from Mill Creek. And this is from their, you know, they have the, the from their VHS slip cover, cover line. I love this line that they're doing. Um, and they, this is like the first one they've done in a little while now. This is a movie here with stars C. Thomas Howell and Peter Horton called Side Out. I, was, I don't know this one. This is one of these ones I had never heard of before. And here's a look, though, at the original artwork as well. That's the one thing, too, that they do. Like, they have, like, alternate artwork in here for the movie inside. And then they for the original VHS uh, style slipcover. But if you look at it, too, it has stuff on here like cult classic. It says on the side, you know, it's, like, age to look like it's, like, an old rented out tape. The back, you can see, like, the, t the actual tape itself. So, I don't know. I love the way that these, like I said, these are designed. It has like Be Kind Rewind, this tough stuff right here and everything for it. And the next ones I got here are all from Kino, and these are from the Kino Studio Classics line. And this one here is uh, the Francis, uh, the Talking Mule. This is the seven film collection. And these are all like, kind of like what inspired, like, I, I don't know if these were first or Mr. Ed was second, which ones came first. I think these were, might have been first, but these were basically like this talking mule. You know, and I don't know, I, I like these kind of like ridiculous kind of like animal stuff. And this was like seven of the films in the series. I don't know if it was all the movies in the series or not, but it's as seven films in the actual series here uh you know for the francis and the talking mule series i'll show you guys though a look inside here this has like francis goes uh, this has francis the talking mule francis goes to the races francis goes west francis covers the big town uh it has um francis uh joins the waves francis in the navy francis in the haunted house you know here as well and it has commentary tracks on um so it has commentary tracks on the film's uh, has I think on all the films has Conte tracks. It also has theatrical trailers, uh, you know, as well for the films. Uh, the other one, and this is a movie I always liked. It's like a really weird one. Uh, this came out years back, um, and this is like the re-release here from um, Kino released this. And it's a movie here called Without Warning, and it has a new artwork as well on this one. I think Shout Factory put this one out. It was like one of their earliest uh, Blu-rays, very early on, I remember, when that came out. But this is like this weird kind of like um, uh, alien creature movie. They made this right around the same time. They made like, um, uh, Jack Palance did a bunch of these ones. I, th I feel like he shot them back to back. And there's like, there's another one like Evil in the Night or Evil Within or something something like that evil something or other uh and then he did, he did another one too and i think um jack pallon uh jack Pallance and martin lando were both in them together too and i feel like they probably were filming them the exact same time but this one has a commentary track on here with the producer and the director on here uh it, some interviews on here uh it has um producer versus aliens interview on here with um the co-writer and the co-producer on here 
uh, interview on here with the special effects makeup artist, has trailers from Hell on here with Mike Mendez, uh, newly commissioned artwork as well as a theatrical trailer on this one. The other one here is one uh, for, uh, called, um, this is from Kino, uh, Kino's uh, Studio Classics line as well. This is uh, Treasures of the Four Crowns, which is a fun movie. I, I think I remember seeing this one back in the day, like I rented this one as a kid, because I used to rent like a lot of these sort of like treasure hunting kind of movies, and they used to have like, and what this is like when I, was, when I was a little kid in Blockbuster, they had a section called like Fantasy. And I remember like that section, I used to rent a lot of the, they had like, I think that's where I first saw Troll 2 and a lot of stuff in there. And they had like a lot of those like treasure and adventure movies like Willy Wonka. They put like a lot of that type of stuff in that section for some reason. So like I remember like I rented all these kind of movies like treasure hunting things and all these type of things. Peanut Butter Solution, I think that was the first time I saw that in that section. So I saw a lot of stuff like that. Uh, this one has on here a commentary track on here with Film Historian on here, a commentary track on here. Um, you know, with the star of the film, and this includes uh, both the uh, BD, 3D, polarized, and anagraphic uh, uh, 3D versions. I'll show you guys all inside. It has the actual 3D, these kind of glasses. I can't use these type of ones. For some reason, like, I only ever used them once when I saw, I think, Spy Kids 3D in theaters, and I remember I got so sick. Uh, the other one here from Kino, uh, uh, from the Kino Studio Classics line, is another one that I remember back in the day. And I think I saw this one, another one, like on USA Up All Night, or one of these ones about these girls that like escape from the psychotic, psychic hospital, um, the mental hospital, and everything. And it's just a really fun movie uh, called uh, Times Square, and it has Tim Curry's in here. And it's one of those ones that's very forgotten about. You really don't hear about this too much. This is from 1980, but I remember this really well back in the day. But this one has a commentary track on here, as well as a commentary track with the film story and Kat Ellinger and a theatrical trailer on this one. And this one here is from um, Kino as well. This is from their uh, Code Red line. And this is one that's like a killer Yeti movie. Uh, it's like a really cr fun one. This is from like 19... What year is this from? 1977. It's an Italian Yeti movie. Uh, you know, this is like one here. Like I said, this is from the um, Code Red. And this is because the... Um, you know, remastered from the original 35 millimeter uh, Italian 35 millimeter camera negative on this one here, but another really really fun uh, movie. And the next ones here, these ones are all from uh, Vinegar Syndrome, and now some of these ones are from their partner labels. Like the first one, this is from their partner label. This is one uh, Video Murders here, and I, I they, this one they sent the one that has the um, the slip cover on this one. This is basically like kind of like a serial killer movie about this guy. Is I think it was based on like. Who they, which serial killer were they basing it off of? Was it Bundy on here? I can't remember which one it said on the back, but it's basically like going around killing these different women and stuff. It was a, it was from 19. 88, but it was one of these real shot on video ish type films. Really fun, uh, movie here, which I never had heard of before. But it has on here, though, a commentary track on here with first assistant cameraman on this one. Uh, it has on here an interview with the band on, on the, in, the, in the film. It has, uh, music videos on here. A uh, culture, culture shock, uh, releasing trailers on this one. And uh, this one is one. I remember this one too because the actor in this, you know, used to go to conventions. I, I think he might have passed away, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe he's alive. I can't remember for sure if he passed away or not. But I know I remember seeing him actually dressing as this character at conventions. I can't show the cover because it's a little gory here, but it's called Flesh Eater. This is like a zombie movie, but the actor in here was actually played one of the zombies in Night of the Living Dead. And he went and made this kind of like spin off kind of zombie film, which was a pretty cool zombie movie from what I can remember. And this is the 4k edition here and it has the 4k and the blu-ray of the movie and it's a very forgotten movie you do not hear about this one very much at all but it has a county track on here uh it has a um uh composer uh interview on here uh let's see it has oh yeah remembering bill so i did i think he did pass away yes he did pass away but he used to always dress in character at conventions and stuff like that um, meatballs and missing actors interview on here with unit unit manager on here interview on here with their hairstylist on here uh, extensive behind the scenes still Gary on this one one of the other ones here from vinegar syndrome uh, is another 4k release which is really cool that they got um, the rights to release this and hopefully they're starting to release more of them as well and this is the Charles Bronson movie uh, death wish 2 and this one has the um, the you know the uh, uh, the blu-ray as well as the 4k of the film this is the first time this one has been released on 4k and this one has on here, though, includes the uncut version of the film on 4K. And then the Blu-ray includes the uh, all, uh, the uncut as well as the alternate TV version of the film. Has some interviews on here with actor Robert F. Lyons on here. Interview on here with Robert Sherwood. 
uh, interview on here with the executive producer, commentary track on here with author and historian Paul Talbert, theatrical trailer on this one here as well. And this is one, one of the, um, both of these ones are two like shot on video ones that they have, uh, Burglar from Hell. And I, I, I really, I, they're putting out a lot of these great like shot on video, like, re, like crazy ones. And this one here has a new transfer, uh, recently un unearthed from SVHS Master Tape. It has a commentary track on here with the director, uh, Phil Herman. It has on here, interview on here with Phil Herman. Uh, has on here though interview on acting with here with some of the actors short films on here trailers on here the other one here this is from uh, AGFA and Bleeding Skull this is another one of these shot on video ones uh, and I think they I, I reviewed one of their other movies I think it was he, oh yeah he did the film Things uh, and this one has on here though original 1991 version from the original three fourth video master 2019 director's cut on here making a wicked world a documentary on here uh, as well and this is one I just want to let you guys know that was available. Uh, this is um, from um, on uh, Altered Innocence here. This is the Jan, the Island of Jan Gersormes, I believe that's how you say it. And this is a collection of seven short films here. And now the next ones here, these ones are all from um, MovieZing.com. These ones are all, I have a link below where, below where you guys can order these ones for the best price. And the first one here is from uh, CBS. And this is one I like to every so often watch. And I, I watch the new show too. It's kind of like this called Beyond the Edge. Um, and this is a show here called, you know, Survivor. This is the complete 40, uh, 40, 40, 41st season. It's crazy. This is one 44, 41 seasons now of this show. I remember the show when this started in the very, very beginning, but it's one of these things where it's like I watched like for the first like five seasons. Then I hadn't watched the show probably for like up until like season 36. So I only recently just saw the show again for the first time in like years. So it probably was like 15 years or something since I had actually watched the show. But it's basically, if you don't, you guys don't know the show, it's people that go out and, you know, go and have to survive out into, you know, the, the, uh, the jungle and stuff like that. And they have like competitions and stuff like that. Uh, the next one here, this is one I want to let you guys know that was available because I have, um, I filmed something for this movie and this is called to uh, Toilet Zombie Baby Strikes Back. And it's basically about these like zombie babies out of the toilet. And like I play like a newscaster in here talking about the zombies and attacking and then that kind of stuff in, you know, in this one. The next one here, this is from um, MovieZing.com as well. And this is also from Warner Brothers. And this is one I'm really glad now that there's a 4K available for the movie. And I love this movie. Uh, James Wan directed this and it's Malignant. And this is basically Basically, though, like, I, can't, I don't want to ruin anything about this, but in, in my opinion, it was one of the most interesting, like, slasher films and the, one of the most original ones in a long time. I really love the use of music in this as well, like, especially, like, the one song that they kept using in this, like, the way they use it was so effective, but really glad now, that this one, you know, now finally has a 4K, but it has, it has the digital copy, then the Blu-ray, and then the 4K uh, for the movie. And this is another one. I've always liked this movie. This is from MovieZing.com as well. This is also from Paramount, and this is... um. The movie which star stars Clint Eastwood, uh, and this was, you know, uh, Escape from Alcatraz. It's, I always like these kind of prison escape movies, and this is basically one very intense thing about him trying to escape from you know, from the prison. And it's just basically just like this ins insane movie, but like I said, I always love these kind of like great escape, all those type of ones, and this is one you don't hear about this one as much as some of the other ones. And this is definitely one I recommend you guys check out if you guys have never seen that. This is another one here from MovieZing.com. And this is uh, one of these ones. It's kind of about like, um, and this is also from 1091. And it's called American Reject. But it's basically like kind of about going to those um, kind of singing competition type shows. And it's basically about the woman who d that basically doesn't end up winning the competition. And kind of like what ends up happening after and having to go back to a normal life and stuff like that. And it's an interesting kind of take on the whole thing because you always see these kind of things where it's like show how things change when you get on a show like that but they don't really show what happens you know when you when you do if you do get kicked off the show kind of having to go back to a normal life and kind of like having you know where you basically were like going around and having like a really like life where you're take driven around and you have like everything kind of given to you it's very different and then all of a sudden it just kind of gets taken away like that if you know if you, if you end up losing one of these shows so it's definitely an interesting kind of thing uh here like i said this one here is called american reject 
And the next one I got here is from MovieZing.com as well. And this is one called uh, Easter Holocaust. And this is basically, though, about, like, this demonic, you know, Easter bunny that's kind of going and wrecking havoc and kind of, like, killing off these people. And it's, like, a really fun, uh, crazy, like, uh, you know, I, th I think it might be a follow-up. I don't know for sure. But it was really fun, like, crazy uh, killer Easter bunny movie. Like I said, this one here is called Easter Holocaust. Uh, the next one here, this is from uh, WellGo USA. This is one called Row 19. And I always like these kind of movies that are like on airplanes when like things go wrong and stuff like that. And it's basically like, um, you know, uh, s s basically on this airplane, all of a sudden like weird things start to happen and people kind of start to die off on this plane. It's kind of like this weird thing where it's kind of like they're trying to figure out, is it some sort of a killer on this plane? Is it some sort of like a possession type thing? Is there like a haunting going on? You know, what exactly is going on on this airplane and it's that's basically what it is but i i don't know i thought it was fun though like it's a movie it's a russian horror film just basically on this airplane when weird sort of things you know start to happen and everything uh the next one here this is from um synapse films and this is one that i want to let you guys know that was available and this is the the living dead at the manchester morgue here uh you know on blu-ray and this one has on here the exclusive 4k restoration from the original 35 millimeter negative it uh, has on here though two uh, audio commentary tracks on here uh, Restoration of a True um, uh, uh, Original English Language uh, th Theatrical Mix on here. It has on here, though, um, extensive feature-length documentary, uh, you know, on the director's other films. Uh, it has on here, though, uh, a Q&A from Fantastic Fa Fest on here, theatrical trailer, TV spots, and radio spots uh, as well on this one. And this one here is from Troma. And this is one, uh, the director of this one, um, it, I, I think he did... I can't remember if he did other things, but I, I know it's kind of in the style of, like, you know, the um, Astron 6 films and stuff like that. And this is one here called Mutant Blast. But it's kind of like that kind of, like, crazy science fiction, you know, uh, futuristic, weird sort of creatures and stuff like that. Really fun movie. Uh, but this one has on here, though, uh, the making of on here, uh, a bunch of different featurettes on here, Mutant Blast blo bloopers on here, special effects, um, you know, featurette on here, um, you know, um, Mutant Blast on how Lloyd Coffin became a Portuguese zombie on here, uh, Portuguese dub on here, French dialogue on here. So a bunch of different language options uh, as well on here, uh, you know, as well. And it's also a two disc uh, set here. The next one here, this is from um, uh, from Shudder. And this is one here called The Boy Behind the Door. And this is basically, though, this is like an intense movie about these kids that end up getting kidnapped. And basically, though... You know, getting kidnapped in this house and it becomes one of these kind of like absolute like nightmare situations and like the one kid kind of gets away and then he has to try and you know rescue his friend and it just becomes this insane thing about what's going on in this house and it's like one of those like super intense like it's one of those two like movies where it's like a slow build where things just get more and more intense as it goes along it kind of has like a I, I sort of like a don't breathe kind of vibe a little bit to, to the way the movie flows and everything, but it's really, really well acted movie. This has on here though, the boy, boy the boy behind the door music video as well as bloopers uh, on this one. This is one I want to let you guys know that was available. Uh, this is from um, Film Movement. This is one, an Ang Lee film called Pushing Hands here. And this one has a round table discussion on here uh, and as well as a 16 page uh, booklet on, at, on the film here, uh, you know, as well. And the next one here, this is from uh, MVD. And this is one to let you guys know that was available. And this is a uh, mega death here. And this is like a mega death, um, you know, filmed live at the Ubrus uh, Stadium in Buenos Aires in 2005 here for, uh, for the band mega death. And another one here from, um, from MVD is a Steven Seagal film, a dangerous man. And this is from, is this from the, um, no, this wasn't from that one line, their marquee line, but this one has on here behind the scenes featurette that includes cast interviews on this one here. Uh, the other one here is from, um, uh, from, this is from 88 Films. And this one, I cannot show the front here, but this is one called Human Lanterns here. And this is one that has, um, slipcase with new artwork on here, uh, has a comedy track on here. Uh, some interviews on here, theatrical trailer, versatile sleeve on here as well. Like I said, I cannot show the one thing on the cover, but I just want to let you guys know that this one was available. The other one here uh, was the um, the Diary of Anne Frank, and this was from uh, MVD as well. Uh, and like I said, I want to let you guys know that this one was available. And this one has on here, though, uh, includes the original commercials as well. So that's always kind of, I always think that's cool too, when shows like include like the original commercials and stuff. Like when they released Pee Wee's Playhouse on DVD, I was always 
always kind of wishing that they would include the original commercials. Uh, this one was from uh, Wild Eye Releasing. This is a movie here called Freak. And this was a fun movie about these people that go out to the woods and it's like this weird sort of creature thing it's kind of it kind of reminded me of the movie extra a little bit and it's basically this weird sort of creature is kind of killing them off out in the woods and everything but it's this weird sort of like stop motion type thing i thought it was actually very very cool uh this one here is from um this is from this is from mvd as well and this is basically about like kind of one of those movies about dealing with bullying and stuff like that when things go really wrong this is very like kind of people going out in the, in the, in the woods and it's like kind of this like i said bullying and like things just like get really bad it's it's one of those really hard to watch movies but really really well acted and everything like i said this one here is called uh, summer scars uh, this one has a comedy track on here as well as a, a 30 minute making of on this one and the last ones here these are from eureka entertainment and this is one here called Midnight, and this one has on here a limited edition O oh, uh, slipcase on this one, a commentary track on here with film historian Kat Ellinger, a new video, uh, new video essay uh, by Korean horror cinema expert Travis Carford uh, on this one here. I'll show you guys though a look inside here, uh, you know, for this one, and then the last one here was one called um, Odd Couple. And this one uh, has on here, though, a limited edition uh, slipcase featuring new artwork on here, uh, original Cantonese mono audio, uh, has the English dub on here, um, commentary track by uh, uh, Asian film expert Frank Dejean on here, uh, brand new commentary track on here with Asian cinema expert Mike Leader, uh, as well as an archival interview on here with the director on this one. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. And like I always say, if you guys enjoyed these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.